What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Tony D2 Wild, checking in once again. You guys know when you play like Xbox or PS5 and you unlock that achievement? Well, today we unlocked that achievement because we had a video called the SIG MCX at home. Well, we finally brought the SIG MCX at home. Today is the day. I've been waiting on this one for a very, 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 very long time, man. Picking up the SIG MCX Spear. Not the LT, but the Big Daddy 308. We are on our way right now to go pick that bad boy up. We're gonna lay in, I think, around 20 rounds of one shot first mag, literally. Come back home and, you know, give you somewhat of an unboxing pickup vlog, kind of like last time. You guys really like that? So I was like, you know what? Let's do more of that, you feel me? Because what we, we, you know, we've been typically getting in guns, shooting them, putting hundreds of rounds through them, giving you guys my review, and then following up with that thousand round review, you feel me? And maybe we could take it a step further with this type of new series of the pickups, the first mags in this type of situation where we literally go to the gun store, pick it up and shoot it right off the rip. No, like nothing, just seeing how it shoots out of box. And I think you guys might like that just as much as I do. Cause I mean, when I get a gun in, I'm so eager to shoot it. Like I get to the gun range, I pick it up. I don't wanna go home and then wait days to go to the range. Like I wanna get it and take it to the back and shoot it immediately. I wanna see what it's all about. So we're about to go and do that right now. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm talking too much. Let's just, let's just get to the point. Here it is. That baby's sexy right there. Still don't get why I come in this box. Man, we need a hard case, sick. We need a hard case, but man, oh man, ain't she a beauty. y'all we just left and uh you know it's just one mag you can't tell that much from one mag but i gotta say bro it's everything i thought it was man fabulous very controllable you saw i had to keep digging my shoulder into it though i had to really get that grip on that 308 man it was hitting a little different you feel me but uh and it's also the jacket i was wearing but we're gonna definitely have some fun with this bad boy right here we're gonna get it set up lpvo i'm definitely running on it uh, i'm gonna get a front grip i got a couple of little ideas to get this bad boy ready because uh, this is going to be the official tissue uh in the collection for me my pride and joy at least for this year for 2023 going into 2024 it's a bad boy man it is a bad bad boy but let's head to the crib and talk more let's get it the sig mcx spear this is not just any spear, this is the 308 spear, okay? It's finally been acquired and it's here to show you guys and girls. This has been the, I guess, I wouldn't call this the grail gun because there's definitely more guns out there that I would like to have my hands on down the pipeline, but coming into the 2A community on this channel, this was one of the first guns that I had saw kind of like that came out that kind of really wanted me to dig in and make that type of content. Salute to Grand Thumb. I think he was like one of the first that I saw with this gun, showcasing it and doing his review. And after I saw it, I fell in love with this thing, man. This thing, phenomenal, beautiful. And then after I saw the LT version, which was a more lighter version than the 5.56 caliber and something that was a little bit more, you know, I guess obtainable, a little bit more, uh, the, the rounds don't cost as much, a little bit more cheaper, even though that's not cheap. It was a cheaper alternative. And also there's a gun I would like to have in 5.56. I went and grabbed that and I had a blast. I still have a blast with it to this day. I love it. And I plan on continuing shooting it even more. But then I had the opportunity to get my hands on the big daddy, the real daddy, the official tissue. 308, they do have it in 6.5 Creedmoor. And I believe they're bringing that 277 Fury down the pipeline. Or I always get it wrong, 277 or 227 Fury, one or the other, forgive me. But they're gonna be having that down the pipeline as well, which I don't plan on acquiring, but hell, I mean, I'm pretty sure they'll make the barrel available as well. So if you wanna make those barrel swaps, you can do so. But in the meantime, I'm gonna have fun with the 308 
Winchester when it comes to this. Bam! I mean, once again, just look at it. It says it for itself. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I'm being a little, I'm being a little funny. We have the Sig Tango 6 MRS. This is a MRS on the top. This is not the official Tango ST that is on here. This is the MRS version of the ST, which is a significantly different version, but it does match and it is in the Coyote Brown. I think I'm gonna replace this though with a Razor 1x6 and uh, let's call it a day. So I'm waiting on my mount for that to come in. We're definitely gonna be putting this one through the ringer at the end of the day. This is going to be my official tissue. Uh, you know, this is the battle rifle in the collection. We do have the SIG MCX Spear at Home that we made a video on a little while back. That was fun as well. Had fun, you know, building that. Still got love for it, but we have the actual SIG at home now. So, hey man, really nice. We only put 20 rounds through it. This is an unboxing of some sorts. Little first mag of some sorts. So just bear with me on that. But the initial thoughts and opinions on the gun is that it handles very well that 308 round. Now, also, I will say though, extremely front heavy. I mean, look, me grabbing it one one hand, Right now, my forearm is trembling. There's so much weight right here. So much weight right here. No weight back here whatsoever. I think a lot of people had talked about that weight, comparing it to the SCAR 17 and how the SCAR is extremely lightweight, which I did feel one and could tell the difference. There is so much weight right here. And I can hit the gym. I need to hit the gym, I understand. But boy, trying to just tote this around with one hand, this thing is, is extremely hefty, especially on the front end. That's the, the my main con is that the gun, I would say for the most part, is not balanced. It doesn't feel balanced. It doesn't feel like it's, it just feels extremely front heavy at the end of the day. How it shoots though, that weight, it definitely helped with the recoil. You might have saw I had to make some slight adjustments because of the jacket I was wearing. But once I can get a good lock in, that 308, even though it's a hefty round, you know, definitely could stay on target. For how fast I was shooting, it, it felt very, very good. You got a lot of the same things that are featured on that LT that's featured on this, even though this is what the LT's mimicking. The LT's mimicking this. The ambidextrous safety, uh, the bolt release, the mag release. You even got a dual charging handle, one here, and then one on the side as well, which is dope. Because I think they stated mainly, you know, if you're running these optics and you're trying to charge it from an optic that's probably, you know, more so out, you can charge it from the side and not have that issue at all. This is a bad boy. It looks intimidating and it is. She's sexy. She is sexy. You got the, you know, folding stock, which the folding mechanism is a little bit different than the typical one. You have to press a button and lift it up rather than before you just lift it up on your typical six. So you have to press a little button to do so, but nothing major. You got this SL stock. Somebody made the funny comment. It's like a big old beefy up. It's like a Johnny Bravo. You feel me? Like beefed up and then you got this no leg day whatsoever, but I like it. I like it. I, I don't think I would switch it out for anything else at the end of the day. But these are my first initial thoughts and opinions. We're definitely gonna give you guys a more updated version. If you like the unboxing type of videos, let me know. I'll give you guys more of these. And uh, yeah, we have the SIG MCX Spear at home, legitimately, like no cap. So yeah, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'll see you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.